Today we're going to be talking about ultrafiltration and how that happens inside a kidney. This is the first process that's going to happen in the filtering of the blood to sort it out. Okay, so here we have in red the glomerulus. Now this is a network of capillaries that are going to be uh, where the blood comes in to the kidney and uh, then gets filtered out. And the blood that's going out here um, is going to be blood that is minus everything that's been filtered out. Yeah. And then in blue, what we have is the Bowman's capsule, and that is going to be where everything is filtered into. So our filtrate ends up, and it's going to go into the nephron even further, and eventually we're going to get to our loop of Henle um, after our um, nearby twisty tube, our proximal convoluted tubule, and then we have our far away distal convoluted tubule, uh, and then remember we get to our collecting duct down there. So that's our Bowman's capsule over here. And so blood is filtered from the glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule. One way we can think about this is it's a bit like clearing out one of your drawers at home. You might take everything else out first and then you could put back the things that you actually want. And so here, lots and lots of things are going to be filtered out. And it's in this section here that we get selective reabsorption, which we'll talk about in a later video. Now, there are a few things that are going to affect what gets filtered out here. Uh, firstly, is that this is under high pressure um, because it narrows a lot and it's very narrow here. So the blood here is under high pressure. And that's going to force out a lot of the, the things that are inside the blood. Why don't you pause the video for a moment and see if you can think what sort of things will be filtered out of the glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule. Some of the things that will get filtered out are water, mineral ions, urea, salts, glucose. But the things that are not reabsorbed, the things that are going to stay inside the blood, are things that are going to be like proteins, large proteins, um, are going to stay in the blood, they're not going to go in there, and then you're also going to have the cells. So white blood cells and red blood cells will stay in the blood um, even after the kidney. And then obviously the things that we want, so the glucose, a lot of the water and the salts and things, they'll get reabsorbed back in the loop of Henle and in the convoluted tubules before and afterwards as well. One of the adaptations of the um, Bowman's capsule is that it has podocyte cells around here. These podocyte cells uh, have big pores in them because they have these uh, like finger-like projections that, that wrap around the little capillaries. Uh, that gives them a lot of pores, so there's lots of space for the things that are going to be able to fit through to come out. There's also going to be uh, the right kind of size so that cells and things can't come through. And that's ultrafiltration in a nutshell. Next time we'll talk about selective reabsorption and how do we get these things back in. That's a little bit more complicated and changes over the course of the tubules, uh, but we'll talk about that next. Thanks, see you next time.